Good morning everyone. I am Saubhagya. I am maths teacher at SMSS Public School, Hubli. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for daily updates. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic angles. What is an angle? An angle is formed when two rays start from a same initial point. What is the meaning of initial point? Initial point means a common point. So, how the ang angle is formed? When two rays starts from same initial point, that is a common point, an angle is formed. See, this is the initial point. These are the two rays. This initial point or the common point is called the vertex or it's known as a node and these two are called the arms of the angle. These are the arms of the angle. The angle is represented with this symbol and the unit of measurement of angle is degree which is represented with this symbol. Every angle has a measure which means we can measure each and every angle formed. To measure the angle between two arms, we use the instrument called a protractor. How to measure the angle? We will discuss it later. Now, based on the opening of these two rays, there is a classification made on types of angles. Now, let's focus on what are the types of the angle. This is the first type that is the acute angle. Acute angle measures between 0 degree to less than 90 degree. Next one is the obtuse angle which measures between it is it measures greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree next we have the right angle which measures exactly 90 degree next one is the straight angle which measures exactly 180 degree next is the reflex angle which measures greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree and the last one is the full rotation angle which measures exactly 360 degree now we have discussed the types of angle. Now let's use the instrument called protractor and scale to measure the different type of angles. This is the instrument which is called protractor which we use to measure an angle. We need a scale. This is the scale. This is the scale and this is the protractor by which we are going to measure different angles. At first, we will use a scale. For example, if I want to draw an angle, angle of 60 degree. Okay. First, I will use this scale. First, I will draw a line, a straight line. This is called a baseline. First, we will draw this line. And we will use our protractor. How to use this protractor? At first, this is the inner circle and this is the outer circle. This is the exact center part of the protractor. We should place this center part of the protractor at this end of, the, of our line segment. Now, we have to draw an angle of 60 degree. Many children get confused which scale we used to we use for measuring the angle or drawing the angle. There is an outer scale, there is also an inner scale. First we have drawn a line segment. This line segment is facing towards our right side. Our 0 degree is at right side. This side also we have a 0 degree and this side also we have a 0 degree. Our line segment or our ray is facing towards this 0 degree. So, we have to count from this inner scale. We have to draw a 60 degree angle. So, we shall count from here. This is 0 degree, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. We have to mark a point here at a 60 degree. Okay. And now again using our scale we have to join these two lines.
I will name this angle as A, O, B and this is a 60 degree angle. These are called the two arms of the angle. This is the vertex or node of the angle which measures 60 degree. Now children, where in which classification does this angle come? This is 60 degree. This comes under the acute angle because it measures from 0 degree to less than 90 degree. So, this is the acute angle. In similar way, if we want to draw a right angle, we will again draw a straight line. We will draw a straight line first. And with the help of the protractor, again we will keep the center part of this protractor exactly at the end of our this line segment and we will mark here the 90 degree. We can see the 90 degree here. I have marked the 90 degree. Now I will join these two lines. This is a 90 degree. I will name this as X, Y and Z. This is the angle X, Y, Z which measures 90 degree. This is the symbol of degree. This is the angle representation. These are the two arms and here is the vertex and the node. In a similar way, we can measure all other angles. For example, obtuse angle. If we get an angle which measures greater than 90 degree and less than